Package delivery, railroad inspection, and emergency response are just of a few missions for unmanned aircraft systems. But their potential is handicapped by a major restriction. Currently, with very few exceptions, civilian drones can only be operated within line of sight and at low altitudes. As unmanned aircraft continue to develop, the goal for most is to be able to fly beyond the horizon with no human eyes spotting traffic from the ground. The state of North Dakota is investing in technology to make safe beyond line of sight operations a reality. AOPA web editor Jim Moore has the story. North Dakota is looking to lead the unmanned aircraft industry beyond a visual line of sight. The state invested $28 million in a project called Vantis. They're looking to create a system to support safe drone flights beyond line of sight in integrated airspace using an infrastructure that serves multiple users, a virtual highway in the sky for drones. We're looking at you know technology, UAS, as an innovation, as a way to, to diversify the economy, bring in you know jobs, opportunities, and you know benefit the state. Vantis consists of a ground-based network of sensors, including radar, as well as command and control relays, and an operations center that can synthesize the flow of safety critical data. You know we'll have you know a thousand square miles of you know, surveillance coverage in, in Western North Dakota through kind of the heart of our, our oil and gas industry. From there, we're gonna, we're gonna learn a lot. Vantis will be analogous to the interstate highway system, a single infrastructure that benefits multiple users. You know, the Postal Service does not build their own roads. We, we buy, build roads for, for all users. The airlines don't land at their own airports and fly on their own nav aids. And right now we don't have a good structure in place for multiple users to fly on a single network. And, you know, we're hoping that this really lays the, the foundation for others to follow. North Dakota is building its network to be scalable. We want this to be something that is not just North Dakota centric, that this is something that will allow other states and other users across the United States to follow the architecture and the game plan that we've put together so that this can be rolled out across the country. North Dakota has long been a hotbed of drone technology research, development, and training, and Vantis shows promise to continue to move the industry forward. Jim Moore, AOPA Live. North Dakota is working with the FAA on the project. It's part of the BEYOND program, a joint industry and FAA project working towards safe integration of UAS. Now, AOPA supports the integration of UAS into the national airspace system as long as it can be done safely and without limitations on the GA fleet.